Alright everybody, welcome back to the My Lifetime in Music series right here on CM42 TV, the series where I listen to and react to every single UK number one song since I have been alive. And we're currently working our way through 1998. Last week we reacted to Madonna's big song, Frozen. Um, and the song that knocked it actually off the top spot was Celine Dion's My Heart Will Go On. However, we've already done that because it already got to number one a few weeks before then. So we're skipping on to the next one. And it's about a run DMC. Can you believe it? Finally, someone that I'm somewhat of, I know who Madonna is and Celine Dion, but someone that I'm a little bit more familiar with, run DMC. This is versus Jason Nevins. It's like that. 21st of March 1998 and this was a huge song because it was number one for six weeks. Now I've got a feeling I'm going to know this one, this is going to be one of those occasions where it's like I'm not sure at first, as soon as I start to listen I'm like ah yes of course this is a classic that everybody knows, especially with like someone like Run DMC where the, the, the songs seem to pop up on like music channels and parties and stuff for your whole life, you know what I mean? So it's like that, official music video right here, let's check it out. It's definitely a strange one. I know the song, I recognise the song, I've never seen this video before. What I can't believe is I know how like the public work and I know how pop music works. It's amazing that not only did this topple the likes of Celine Dion and Madonna, but also stayed at the top longer than those two artists as well. This stayed at the top for six weeks. Wow. Not saying I mean I quite like it. It's not really my vibe really, but it's um it's definitely funky. Don't pull the house. Dancing here that's going on. I know it's like a touch. What is it? Is it break dancing? When was that a big thing? I feel like that was earlier in the 90s. That must have been like a big thing. Um, but maybe not. Maybe 1998 or even a little bit before then. Everyone wearing like the baggy clothes, the baggy trousers, the beanie hats, things like that, and then like dancing like in a kind of dance off kind of way. It's a bit like the Outsiders. Or uh, not the Outsiders. Um, what's the one that was just on Disney Plus with Andrew Well got? West Side Story, it's a bit like West Side Story with the two kind of gangs and they're dancing back and forth to each other, it's really interesting. Um, it's weird how it's almost like it doesn't fit the song, but they're kind of dancing in tune, but it's almost like they just played the song and this is what they're kind of going for. Which is kind of a, a nice, it doesn't look too staged, you know, which is quite good. What's this guy doing with his hair though? Whoa! Check this out. 
Well, obviously I know that bit. How funny is that? How funny is that? Like, I'm kind of like familiar with the whole song, I've heard it before, but it, like this one part of the song, this like one bridge, is like so more played than the rest of the song. Maybe it's like a remix of someone's just added into the song, or like the Jason Nevins guys added into the, into the song. But it's so funny how that part of the song is so recognisable, you know? You wouldn't even consider the rest of the song once you hear that one bit. Not that it's any better than the rest of the song, but it's almost like that part's favoured, and it's in so much more, you know? Here we go. Check this out. That's the way it is. Ouch. Man. That was interesting, hearing that song in its entirety, for maybe the first time ever I'd seen the music video. A nice mix, very interesting and it's a total nice break from what we had the last couple of weeks. The slower songs, unlike Brimful of Asher, that was more high paced, but I'm talking about like Celine Dion and Madonna. It's nice to kind of have a nice wee change, you know, with a bit of Run DMC, Mr. Jason Nevins. Very, very good. Great work, I'll add that to the playlist. And uh, tune in next week for another reaction. What will topple this song that was on top for six weeks? Very, very interesting. There's only one way to find out. And it's to tune in next week. I swear there's no other way to find out.